Hi guys, it's now 8.40 in the evening. Um, I just finished dinner, which was chicken. I love the way I do my chicken. And um, baked potatoes, three little oh, golf ball potatoes. Um, yeah, as I mentioned before, I'm not eating starches or carbs or whatever. However, about once or twice, probably twice a week, I choose to eat like some kind of carb. And I take, oh, I don't have a bottle of them here. I take these um, carb blockers, white kidney bean extract carb blockers. And um, I get no signs that I've eaten carbs at all. No, nothing. I mean, they just, they just work. It's like I didn't even eat them. Um, actually, if they didn't work, I wouldn't have lost 23 pounds in less than four weeks. So, you know. Anyway, so I enjoy my baked potatoes. And on Sunday, we have our pizzas. Um, so on Sundays I have pizza every week and then, um, this week I also had baked potatoes tonight. Anyway, um, and I wanted to say something else that I wanted to add on to this health thing. And that is that I've been busy all day today. I've been busy. I've been on my feet. I've been standing at the counter. I've been chopping, prepping, cooking, cleaning, you know, just like as if, it was 2017. <laughs> like, I feel almost as good as I did in 2017. So I just, as I was thinking that tonight, I thought, you know, as I was chopping my vegetables, Pete's vegetables, actually, I didn't have any tonight. Um, but as I was thinking, as I was chopping, and I was thinking, you know, I haven't been able to stand here and do this in so long. I'm just elated that I'm getting my life back. I just can't even believe it after all this time. And like I said, the last few months have been particularly rough because I had the depression added in. But anyway, so there's that. Um, so the other thing I was going to talk to you about is my projects. And I believe I've mentioned before that I had two projects that I was saving for after um, after I retired. And they've both turned into much bigger deals than I anticipated them to be. But I want to ask you seriously honestly after you create your vlog and upload it unless you create it on the youtube but after you create and upload your vlogs do you save a copy do you keep a copy or you just leave them up there and then get rid of the evidence <laughs> because i have been saving my vlogs i have terabytes and terabytes of these things that i have been saving for all these years and you know, maybe I should save the ones for like the day my grandkids were born or Christmas or birthday parties or something. But all the day-to-day -day vlogs, I don't know. What do you guys do? I have so many, it would be almost impossible to go through them all. And um, frankly, the hard the hard drive but for this one that I save all my files on, when I plug it in, the computer doesn't even recognize it. So I don't even know if I have access to those. Um, I've tried different computers, different laptops. I've tried exchanging the cord with another one that I have um, in case it was in the cable. Um, and I've tried all the different USB ports. And I have tried... Um, well, I can't think, but um, my friend um, uh, David had given me some, some suggestions, which I also tried. And when I plug those ex that external drive in, it just doesn't even exist. It sounds like you can hear it going and the lights flashing, but the computer says, did you do something? I thought I might have felt something, but I'm not getting any input, so I don't know. Um, I'd hate to think because that one had like 10 years, close to 10 years of pictures and uh, videos and stuff on it. Mostly I save pictures and videos, documents, you know, like business correspondence, stuff like that. But anyway, I would hate to lose that one. Um, I just started a terabyte. I think that was half a terabyte, 500 gigabytes, that one was. I just started a terabyte one this week. But that is one of my projects, is getting all these files from both of my laptops, both of my tablets, and my phone, 
which amounts to, I can't even tell you how many files. I can't, photos alone are in the thousands every year. And videos are in the hundreds every year. And some of them are quite lengthy. Um, and sorting through them and getting rid of duplicates, because a lot of times I take two pictures if it's an important one, because I want to, you know, I take two in case one is a little blurry or whatever. So I went through today uh, 3,641 files, picture files, I think, from 2019. Got rid of all those. Got rid of the pictures that I only took for vlogs, like when I'm in a restaurant and I take a picture of my dinner or the menu or whatever. Got rid of all those. Um, got rid of uh, copies, like uh, when I'd move something from one directory to another and it'll ask, you know, you have a duplicate. Well, I don't want to deal with it right then. So I just say, just give it another name. So all those copies that have like a little one or even two after it. Um, so I got rid of, I think 600 and some files, which isn't a ton, but whatever. Oh, uh, and I've got pretty much from one of my laptops and when I say the laptop, I also have a 128 gigabyte um, mini SD card in there that I use as a separate drive. And in my phone, I have the, you know, what's in the phone. And then a, um, on, I think that's also 128 gigabytes of files, videos, pictures, downloads, documents, and stuff like that. Um so I did both of those on the both of those drives on the phone, both of them on my laptop that I use now. I still have to do the laptop that I used before this, and I still would like to be able to use that laptop. There's nothing wrong with it. It's zippy. It's fast because it's a. It's, I've always run it on Linux, but it won't connect to the internet. So I need to get that somewhere where they can fix that. Um. So I have both my tablets left and uh, to go through all those files and delete and sort and put on the external hard drive or whatever. I'll probably use up, I don't know how much I'll use up, probably a couple hundred gigabytes of that terabyte drive. Every, every external drive I get is bigger. <laughs> As time goes on, they get bigger and bigger and bigger. So probably by the time I need another one, I'll be getting what's after a terabyte. Like, you know, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte. What's next? I don't know. A thousand terabytes. Anyway, so that is the one project, and I've been working steadily on it, pretty steadily. The other project is the one that I'm working with my keyboards and some... You know, I keep one keyboard at a time set up. The one is uh, 76 keys, and it has an amazing piano sound. So I use that when I want to play, just play like p regular piano music, just, you know, like regular solo piano, recital, classical type music. I use the other one um, for this project, which is... Finding Songs I Love. Stop me if you've heard this before. But Finding Songs I Love, um, making arrangements of them um, on the keyboard, you know, the instrumentations and the backing, back, uh, not backing, um, rhythm sections, all that stuff. Setting them up just how I want them, then recording them and so that I can play my ukulele along with them. And that's something I've been working on for probably since last fall, on and off. But now I'm getting more diligent where I'm doing two or three a day. And then once I do that, now I'm taking all the ones I've done in addition to the ones I'm doing now because now I've started to choose songs according to which ukulele I want to play with it. The, the Nova concert or the uh, um, Resonator tenor or my beautiful Kayla um, baritone. And I'm putting, making, well, file folders, which I still think of directory, as of directory, I didn't need to get with the program here with the present, but with the printed as well as the 
wave file of the backing so that if I I can just look down see what songs I have see what I want to play open it and I have both right there I can be playing the the backing for it as I am reading the music and playing whichever ukulele so um you know that is like my really fun project the other one gets kind of frustrating but so those are the two projects and that's one of the things I wanted to talk about was the projects that I'm working on um Oh, I'm already over 10 minutes, so I guess I better go again. Uh, there's a couple more things, but, you know, I don't want to get anybody. So I will just, this will be it for today. I'll put these two up, and then um, then the other ones I'll do in the future or something. But um, I am going to go finish with, uh, finish up. Oh, I just finished up the phone, both the 128 little card and the internal memory, um, putting them on the terabyte hard drive, external drive. But um, the next thing I'm going to do is I have a 256 gigabyte memory stick here somewhere. I know it's here somewhere. And um, it's here somewhere. <laughs> Maybe it's in a pocket. I don't know. Anyway. Um, and I am going to make that a Linux drive um, so I can uh, run that. I can, you know, run this this laptop, the one that's a Windows laptop that I've never liked, but I have to have Windows to connect this computer with my keyboard. Yamaha only uses Windows. Um, so anyway, I want to run... Uh, my beloved Linux off a stick. I, I gotta find the stick first. But I emptied it a couple days ago. Got everything off that stick and put it on that hard drive so I could use it for to run my current laptop on Linux. Anyway, I'm. Uh, I guess I better go think about it because I'm now I'm obsessing. <laughs> I better go find it. So I will see you guys next time. Um, we won't have church tomorrow. For the next few weeks, the churches have closed their doors because everybody's afraid to get sick. And um, so we won't be going to church, but we are going to Casey's for a uh, corned beef, cabbage, etc. dinner. And uh, Pete, we're taking salmon patties for him since he can't have the beef. But darn, I got to go look for that stick. I will see you next time. Hope you're having a great weekend. Don't forget to pray for your pastors. And ch churches, these churches that are being, the government's telling them to close their doors. Uh, that could be a whole vlog, hour-long vlog by itself. So I'm not going to get into it. But I will say, we got to be praying about this, guys. And tomorrow being the National Day of Prayer about this whole situation, I'm taking that very seriously. I hope you are too, because um, we need God's help. So... I will see you guys um, next time. Have a great Sunday, and I hope your weekend's going well. And whatever else I usually say, take care, God bless, and good night.